My 3D printer just showed up. Let's get this thing unboxed and ready to go. So I got the Ender 3V2 Neo. Um, I picked it up for 240 bucks on Black Friday, saved 60 bucks from what it normally costs, so I was pretty happy with that deal. Um, definitely going to take some assembly, but that's what we're going to do in this video. Got a little space cleared off here on my uh, dresser. We're probably just going to set it up right here. Um, it's just going to get too dusty if I try and put it in the barn, I think, so we'll keep it in my bedroom. If you see this dog in the background, this is our new dog, Cash, so he might be messing around in the background. But but yeah, I'm super excited to get this thing up and running. It should be a ton of fun to mess around with and make some parts for the RCs and all that stuff. I apologize for the lighting here. It's not the best, um, but we're going to deal with it. So it comes with a nice little micro SD card and a USB adapter. It comes with all the tools you need to get it set up and ready to go. It also comes with a little spatula kind of deal to get your prints off the print bed and some little snippers. And it comes with a little bit of white filament just to do a first little test print on. This video isn't going to be a full-on setup tutorial, but I'll give you some of the highlights. There's a lot better uh, tutorials out there. I just want to get this thing going and I'll show you guys um, how it works. So here we have the little uh, screen there. Really nice uh, compact packaging here. It's all nicely packed in with foam, so hopefully nothing got damaged during shipping. Oh, Cash wants to help out, I guess. There's the main part of it. Feels pretty heavy duty, which is good. So we have four uh, bolts that go in the uh, bottom here, and that just holds the main gantry part together. The screen is on. Since I live in the US, I have to flip the power supply voltage to 115. This little blue knob goes right on the top there. So far, everything's been super simple to set up. It all just kind of slides into these little grooves. These directions aren't very in-depth, but so far it's been enough to get me this far. Creality also has a nice video explaining the entire setup process. Alright, I think I got everything all wired up and uh, I think everything's plugged in. Fans on. Screen is lighting up. It's a good sign. So now we have to get the uh, bed all leveled. You can manually adjust here and then one of the main upgrades on this Neo version is it has an auto uh, bed leveling right there. That basically, before you print, it bounces around. I'll show you in a second here, but it registers all these spots on the on the print surface, and then it'll compensate for that in the pro and when it's printing. So now what you have to do, you have to uh, take a piece of paper and then you look at that distance between the extruder nozzle right there. You can see it, and you want that to be a very very tiny little gap in between the paper and the nozzle. And then you just adjust these uh, wheels on the bottom here to get it all leveled up. So here goes the auto bed leveling. So this little sensor moves around the entire print surface. Um, it me measures 16 different spots and then it measures any variations and compensates for that during the printing process. Get this film in uh, cut open and uh, see if we can't do our first print. Then you have to cut the end of the filament at a 45 degree angle so that it can go down the tube easier. So from what I can tell, I think we're all ready to print. Alright, the SD card slot is right here. There's a couple preloaded files on the SD card. I'm going to try the boat. That's what it's supposed to look like. It's going to be in white, because that's what they gave us to start with. Everything's hot. We'll see. Let's see what happens here. Alright, the boat is currently in progress. It's hard to tell if it's doing it right or if it's too close to the bed or what but we'll give it a few minutes uh, currently at three percent so there's not much yet um, but it's doing something so I guess that's good the printer overall is pretty quiet it's just the fans that are the loudest part All right, my first ever 3d print is done I think it turned out pretty dang cool. I don't know if it'll just pop off. Yep. That's uh, it's a cool little boat. It took an hour and 46 minutes and uh, still got quite a bit of filament left so we should be able to print a few more things. So for my first ever 3D print, I couldn't be more happy. For 240 bucks, that's really hard to beat. And it's just crazy how much this machine can do. I'm super excited to keep playing with it and making more parts.
Thanks for watching. Thank you.